Tag 9. Ich weiß nicht, was ich davon aushalten soll. Irving. Finally. I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Ein Storeroom über der Reception. Ich sollte einen Blick ins Mezzanin werfen. In der Mitte finden die Dinge ihre richtige Position. Mezzanin. Mezzanin. Ups, über der Rezeption. lieber hier rum, denn sonst äh, finde ich ne, wait hier, sonst finde ich die die Rezeption nicht das scheiß Telefon immer Ich dachte mir nämlich schon, dass hier was ist. Alter, nee. Muss das sein? Na ja, dann halt. Nee. What the fuck? Schaufensterpuppen. Und ein Baby. Nicole, unser Baby. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine. And... It's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! Mm -hmm. If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, 
Why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Fuck. Oh. Um. Ihr habt das auch gehört. Ja, und ist die Treppe hoch oder runter gegangen. Hoch oder runter. Hat Schwede. Ich habe Angst. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. Das ist nicht Irving. War das nicht der Typ vom Telefon? Irving, was tust du? Was verbirgt sich hinter der verschlossenen Tür im zweiten Stock? Das war nicht Irving. Oh! Die klingelt unten. Das Spiel spielt mit meiner Psyche. Das macht mich verrückt. Das macht mich verrückt. Die sterbende Rose. Aber sonst nichts. Hab bloß geklingelt. Ich denke mal einfach, wir müssen jetzt da nach oben. Vielleicht ist die Tür auf magische Weise offen. Ich weiß nicht. Ich finde das alles ziemlich schrecklich. Und die Geräusche werden immer mehr. Nur so, falls euch das nicht aufgefallen ist. Das war die falsche Richtung. Ich habe echt durchgehend Gänsehaut. Das Spiel ist nicht ein Horrorspiel, so wie man es kennt. Aber es ist ein Horrorspiel, finde ich. Es ist kein Walking Simulator. Hallo? Ist hier jemand? Wieso ist die Tür offen? What the fuck? Holy shit. Car engine. Transmission. Unser Auto. Jemand hat unser Auto manipuliert. And you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered. Every reconstructed piece. Every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo. A hairband. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. 
You... Jenkins... You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events... You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you've got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. What retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Irving, where are you right now? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there, in that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. Get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Ehrlich gesagt kann ich der Geschichte noch nicht, immer noch nicht ganz folgen. Auf jeden Fall macht er hier diese komischen Geräusche immer. 
This should work. Und hier, tagelang war er hier drin. Hat alles geplant. Und in der High School. Nicole Wilson, Diploma. Pacific University of Oregon. Nicole Wilson. Small Town Girl. Nicole. Stata. Ice Hockey. Dodge Documents. Nicole's favorite car. Er hat alles geplant. Christmas 98. Fotos von anderem Auto. Alles. Was für ein krankes Stück. Blinky Christmas. Ghost Sighting. Strange Lights. Loading Figure. Outside Ballroom Window 9048. Dining Room. Ich verstehe es. <lacht> Immer noch nicht ganz eben, wie gesagt. Montana Weather. Aber er steckt hinter allem, was uns hier hingelockt hat. Wieso ist die Tür jetzt offen? Vorher war sie geschlossen. Und Nicole ist also doch wirklich tot. Und das irgendwie aus dem Grund... Oder wegen dem Grund... Der Liebe mit Pasta irgendwas. What the hell, man? Leonards Gedanken. Eine Schreibmaschine. Rachel. Rachel's lesson number 12. Rachel didn't come. Das Buch haben wir auch. Hey. Rachel. Sind das für komische Zeichnungen? Ranking Rachel Leonard, Leonard Blackball. Rachel Leonard. Ein Schlüssel. Den Schlüssel kann ich komischerweise noch nicht hochheben. Ich muss dann wahrscheinlich hier den Projektor starten. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. 
I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo, so. How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. Ein Fenster. Claire. Claire ist unsere Mutter. Murderer. Ich sag Murderer. Bin ich. Hab, hab ich. In Claires Auto. Hab ich Rachel dazu gebracht, sich umzubringen? War ich schuld? Ich will bloß weg von hier. War ich schuld? Hab ich sie irgendwie dazu gebracht? Wie soll ich die Tür offen? Ich will weg von hier. Ich habe keine Lust mehr. Das ist ein fucking Horrorspiel! Walking Simulator, fuck my ass! Hello. Oh shit! Leonard was a very special man. Ich will weg von hier. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. Keine Lust mehr. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Mm. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Irving is here. These Stiefel waren vorhin noch nicht hier. Und sie waren nass. Und ich will hier einfach bloß weg, Mann. Ah. 
Packesel. Ja, schön. Und nun? Was nun? Was ist diese in dieser Decke? Wasch sie, wasch sie, wasch sie, wasch sie. Hä? Wieso ist die Tür eigentlich offen? Ich verstehe es nicht. Fuck, man. Keine Lust mehr. Waschen. Was soll das mir bringen? Die Zahnspange. Oh I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend And he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there. Red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... <laughs> I traveled all the way. With Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. 
You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. But she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now, we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Irving, where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see, beyond the mountains. You... you left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... you'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... and go back... to her. Don't... don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again, in another time, beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Irving? Irving? I didn't look at time. I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Um... Who's there? Mm. Rachel? Is that you? Oh, du Scheiße. Allein. Yes? Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch it. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. But this kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Wait a sec, what's that? Oh, there's also my scene. You oh. know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. 
but they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Kann ich kann Schatten benutzen. Mit für immer hier bleiben, meint ich sich selber umbringen. Damit der Geist hier bei Rachel und der Familie bleiben kann. Ich habe es zuerst nicht gesehen, aber ich glaube, wir wissen alle, was das bedeutet. Kohlenmonoxidvergiftung. Abgase ins Auto leiten. Und leise und still einschlafen. Irgendwie noch schöne Musik. Mom, we will bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We'll be happy again, all together. Like a whole family. No more anger. The suicide of Rachel Foster. Für ein Spiel, Alter. Ganz ehrlich, ich bin am Schluss nicht ganz rausgekommen. Ey. Auf welche Art und Weise Rachel am Schluss wirklich gestorben ist. Aber irgendwie haben alle da etwas verpfuscht. Und das Spiel war wirklich... Das gruseligste Horror, nicht Horrorspiel, was ich gespielt habe bisher. Es hat mich kaputt gemacht. Da ich weiß, dass es eigentlich kein Horrorspiel ist und bloß ein Walking Simulator, hat es mich mental und psychisch so kaputt gemacht, dass ich immer damit rechnen musste, dass plötzlich irgendwas passiert. Und man sah ja, es gab ein paar. Jumpscares. Wirklich, ich dachte, das wäre so ein ja, schönes, kleines Spiel für zwischendurch, was eine traurige, tragische Geschichte, Geschichte erzählt. Aber auf keinen Fall. Es ist wirklich intensiv. Ähm, hat ein paar schöne Dinge mit sich gebracht. Aber schlussendlich war es ja wirklich eine traurige Geschichte. Alle sind eigentlich tot. Rachel ist von uns gegangen. Die Mutter. Dad. Dann schlussendlich noch Irwin, der gar nicht Irwin war. Ja. Und am Schluss blieben nur noch wir übrig. Und da, somit konnten wir nicht leben. Wir mussten bei Rachel bleiben. Und den Eltern. Das war echt echt ein gutes Spiel. Auch wenn es wirklich... Ja, gegen den Schluss hatte ich wirklich Gänsehaut die ganze Zeit. Es... I 
don't know. Ich kann das nicht erklären. Das muss man einfach selber gespielt haben. Ich fand es krass. Naja. Auf jeden Fall vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen hier. Bei der Suicide of Rachel Foster. Was ja am Schluss eben gar nicht ein Suizid war. Zumindest nicht auf Rachels Seite. Aber gut. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns beim anderen Let's Play hier wieder auf meinem Kanal. Haut rein. Tschüss.